Hi, Leslie Rodriguez here with Weikert Realtors, welcoming you to a wonderful new listing in Montebello Condos. So let's get the... Here we are in the foyer, and I do want to show you real quickly a summary about what's been done to this wonderful place since 2018, in case I forget to tell you about something. Basically, everything's been done. Uh, notice that it also does include a garage space and the typical storage space as well. Um, and you'll see a lot of this as we go through. So as you come into the living room, the first thing you notice when you look in is, of course, our enclosed balcony beyond the spacious living room. We're going to go there first because that is why most of us have bought here. And as we go, you'll notice this beautiful bamboo wood floor. It does go throughout the condo bedrooms as well. And now we're coming to a beautiful ceramic tile which I love, and as you look around, you'll see that we have one, two, and three sliding glass doors, and the view is gorgeous. Uh, we do have some dead leaves from the cicadas this year, but it is a gorgeous view. At the fifth floor, you are in the treehouse view. Um, not too high, not too low, it's just right. Uh, we do have very nice quality shades, um, but quite frankly, I never see a reason to lower them. We are facing essentially south, southeast, so you get daylight, um, nice, nice sunlight all day long, but not in your eyes. Um, this balcony has been painted. The brick has been painted white, which I think is a fabulous idea, and I may be doing that myself. And you have a beautiful panoramic view. You can just imagine watching the snow come down even nicer. As you come back through the living room, let's take a look at the dining room that is right next to it. And you will see that it is open to the kitchen. The kitchen has been opened up, uh, which is what most people do like to do uh, when they renovate. And here we have the dining room with, again, that same view. A quick look at a little more information about Montebello. So, uh, the idea here is that you know, people call us a resort, we're, we're like a cruise ship on land. Any activity you want to do, you can either find a group to do it with or you can start your own group. Of course, a lot of these are on hold right now, um, but we'll be coming back with the end of COVID and with the renovation of the community center that is underway right now. Uh, a main feature um, for Montebello, and it's important to consider in looking at any condominium, is our finances very, very strong as a result. We've never had a special assessment. We have been able to finance a um, new gym, new community center, and uh, taking care of our 35 acres of woods, a top priority here in Montebello. Here you get a great view of the kitchen. It has all three sides completed. There's room for a breakfast bar right here. Beautiful quartz countertops. Unlike a lot of renovations, it does have that third side. It has been completed with the wine rack. You have your French door refrigerator, smooth top uh, range, extra deep sink, which I have as well and love, and of course, the stainless steel appliances. Coming through to the hallway, one of the reasons why this um, looks so open is it's no longer a hallway. There used to be a wall right here dividing the living room. This closet is sort of the bonus closet. Um, it's great for cleaning supplies, vacuum cleaner, and so on, because there is another closet for coats. We'll come to that next. So a lot of storage for coats. You could put shelving there. You have uh, shelving on the top as well for more supplies. You notice, as I said, that wood floor continues through. And in the bedroom, we come first to a regular closet. I say regular because it's not a walk-in, but it does have two rows of rods, so really good for storage. And then the bathroom, the bathroom vanity has been completely done, again with beautiful quartz, lighting and mirror. And then the primary bathroom has been finished off with tile and a beautiful step-in shower uh, with rain head shower head. So very well done bathroom. It even has a little seat there in the corner. It doesn't take up too much room. Uh, I forgot to mention all of the hardware was done as well. And of course, all of the lighting. So here again, there's that beautiful wood continuing into the bedroom. There is a linen closet. 
And then there's the walk-in, again, with really good, well-thought-out rod system. And then the bedroom is plenty big to have your reading corner over there. You could accommodate a king-size bed without a problem. And these wall sconces were added so you don't have to deal with lamps. And each one has its own light switch. Very, very smart planning um, for this condo. So going through to the back to the living room, we'll head to the second bedroom, which in fact is a bedroom suite because it does have its own full bathroom. Again, here we're going past that beautiful view. So the entryway to the bedroom is the double doors because a lot of people do use this as a den, but it still gives privacy if somebody's going to be using it as a bedroom. You can see you can get a good sized bed in here. It has a full sized closet and then it has a full bathroom. Again, it has very nice um, vanity. I guess I should turn that on. There. Beautiful lights. That's a triple light. And then again, a shower with beautiful tile work and rain shower. So very well done. So moving back into the living room, let's take one last look around. So there's the nice open space. This is great for entertaining, but even if it's just you, you would never feel enclosed with all this light and openness. And of course, the wood floors really help. And then let's take a one last look out here. Just imagine yourself sitting here on the on a chase lounge and appreciating that peaceful view. So hope you come take a look at this. Um, we do have regular open houses and we are happy to show it to you at your convenience. Bye-bye.